Santa knows where to find all the best and hottest smartphones just in time to make this Christmas better and bigger than ever. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. Ho, 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 ho. Contrary to one of his more popular advertisements, he left. But now he's back, in custody. The FBI officially announced today that fugitive former attorney Eric C. Kahn is in FBI custody. The FBI didn't release a lot of information today at a press conference in Lexington, but they did say that the search for Eric C. Kahn spanned numerous agencies and international borders. We pursued all investigative avenues. We interviewed dozens of people to include Mr. Khan's family, friends, and associates. We employed various technical capabilities. We reviewed emails and social media posts purportedly originating from Mr. Khan. We conducted analysis of his finances and seized bank accounts. We conducted physical surveillance. We searched his former law office, vehicle, and the residence of his mother in Stanville, Kentucky. And we offered a reward for information leading directly to his arrest. Today, I'm pleased to announce that Mr. Khan is in custody. On Saturday, December 2nd, with the assistance of the FBI's legal attache in San Salvador and La Agencia Tecnica de Investigación Criminal, or ATIC, Mr. Khan was arrested without incident at a pizza hut in La Saeba, Honduras. Mr. Khan is currently in the custody of FBI agents, and at some point soon, he'll appear in court to face the remaining charges against him. As promised, Mr. Khan will now be held accountable for his actions, the people he deceived, and the lives he shattered, including all the victims of his greed in eastern Kentucky. Khan has already been sentenced in relation to his guilty plea in the Social Security scheme, but now he faces prosecution for charges related to his escape. In Lexington, Chris Anderson, EKB News.